Okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. I love you, Diana. I really love you. How are you, Diana? How you doing? Okay, I'm Diana. Nice to meet Dad. you. Pleasure. Have a seat wherever you're comfortable. So I'm sure you know what this is. I'm sure it's some sort of intervention or something like that. What I've learned is that your whole family needs some help. It's not only you. And they would like to convey that to you today and tell you how much they love you. So if you're okay with that, they Yeah, like... no, I appreciate it. So you want to start? Diana. Today, I am here because I love you. All the times our families have spent together and going on different trips, you and I just going to the movies have meant so much to me. You are my family. But things have changed for you, Diana, and I'm very scared for you. Seeing you in the hospital was very traumatic. You almost lost your life. Seeing you like that showed me how very sick you are. The alcohol is killing you, and watching you die will kill me. Please accept this help. I love you. I love you too. Diana, this is the hardest letter I've ever had to write in my life. I can remember when you were that cute little girl with curls, that beautiful smile running around. But when you were in the hospital and you were dying, you couldn't eat, you couldn't speak. You only visited once. Yes, because I couldn't see you sitting in there dying. Please, please get this help. You're dying. But if you don't, I'll tell your landlord. I'm not going to give him a penny. And if you come on the property, I'm going to have you arrested for trespassing. I don't want to do this, Diana. Please go with Ken. I'm going to be going to treatment because of the wrongdoings that I've had, because of the control that I had over you. And you need to do this because I know you want to live. So you want to listen to your mom's letter? Sure, sure. Diana, I love you more than anything. You know, as a little girl, and for many years, and as a teenager, we would say, I love you every day to each other. Everything you did, you were great at. But alcohol's robbing you of all of that, Diana. All of your beauty, all of your soul. It's taking everything away from you. And now I have another person that I've lost to alcohol. That's not fair. It's not fair. See? It's not fair that it's, alcohol- It's all about- you. No. It's all about you. All about you. No. It's taken, what, 30 years for you to finally, finally admit that you guys are in control and that I've been saying for years. Talking about this rehab and everything for me and everything, it's too little too late. Well, wait a minute, Diana. Just sit down because you're right. You're exactly right. Your addiction is alcohol, yes. right? Yes. Their addiction is controlling you. I'm so sorry, but I want you to be help. I want you to be an independent person, and this is the way for it. It's a beautiful facility, Diana. I'll be there for you. I'll be there, whatever you need. If we can need. come and see you, we'll come we and see will. you. I don't, I don't love you. Let me finish. Please let I'm me finish. Controlling. Controlling. You're right on, and you shouldn't have and to it's... live this way, but they're willing to get the help. I'm, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. Go with her. You know my parents, they're so bullshit. they're bullshit him right now. They're just doing it for the cameras. She wants to defer like she's always done and try to blame everything else except the alcohol. Yep. And that's what she's doing now. And that hug, that, I, that was the first time my dad hugged me since I got back from Italy. And that was 10 years ago. My parents haven't hugged me since then. So this is all just a farce. I don't know what to do. If I die, I die. Diana, please. No, leave please. me alone. I can't believe you, you did this <laughs> surprise Diana, me with this I you intervention. In the hospital. I don't want you to die. So Diana is a hard no. She is not saying yes, because if she says yes, that's saying yes to her parents, and she will not do it. We're going to have to raise that rock bottom, and she's going to have to feel the pain of losing everything. You know what's got going on, right? Yeah. Just say, you can't stay here tonight. You have to pack your stuff, and you have to leave. Yeah. And knowing that you're not throwing her out in the street, we have a treatment yeah. facility waiting for her. All right, OK. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. All right, sir. 
Okay. Appreciate your help. Thank you, Jesse. All She'll right. probably be here in a bit. Okay. Diana's uh, about 10 minutes away from here right now. We have our plan to go in there when she gets here, bring a bunch of trash bags, okay. throw everything in there. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to play the good guy and say, let's just get out of here. You don't have to live this way anymore. Let's just get out of here. Okay. The four of you could just start throwing everything in trash bags okay. and say, Jesse wanted us to let you know you can't stay here, so we're just helping you pack up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. Let's hurry up. She's here. Let's hurry up. So what's going on? Nothing. Just got back from walking. So what do you want to do? I'm going to sit down and watch TV. Well, you can't stay here anymore. Jesse said that you can't stay here. Can I please go inside because I have my stuff in there and then I have to get that packed and everything? Yeah, that's what they're doing now is helping you pack. OK. So they'll All help right. you pack everything up. Chrissy, you want to help her pack? It's breaking my heart to watch Diana go through this process of the fear of losing the only thing that she knows to work, vodka. Yeah. OK, what else? Diana, you got a second. By her saying yes to go to treatment is doing one more time what her parents want her to do. And that's the problem here. She won't let go. You've been smothered for 30 years. Everybody sees how sick your dad is. He needs a lot of help. And so does my mom, too. And your mom, absolutely. They're both up. Yes, but your mom, I think, gets it. Your dad's not seeing it right now. But I need you clean and sober so you and I could go to bat for that if you even choose to. You may choose to just stay away from them and live a healthy life on your own. You're the victim in all this. It's not jail. The place is beautiful. Uh -huh. You won't want to leave after 90 days. I mean, if I go longer, I go longer. Yeah, yeah, no, but try it. But I'll give Just... it two weeks. I am so proud of you. Let's get going. Diana. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I see this day as like another day of birth for my daughter because this is the beginning of a new life for her. I'm so proud of you, Diana. I am just so happy. I can't even put into words how happy I am. She, she took this. We love you, Diana. Take care. Okay, hang in there, Diana. Okay, great. I just hope you get your help, too. Bye. We are. Bye, guys. Love you. Too much confusion in my life. Starting today, I'm going to simplify. I want to shout it out that I'm breaking free from all these things that I don't. She's lost who she is, who she can be. Could I have the emergency room, please?